Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the virtual land, which is called VLAN. Alright, so I think that most of the network engineers, uh, students, they already know what is that. So today I'm going to go through about it, and a little bit concept and the configuration, and how to assign the port into the VLAN. Okay, so this is a topology that I have created, and I have uh, two departments like right here. This is the department IT and this is the department accounting. So the department IT I'm going to use the VLAN 10 in the IT and the network the 10 0 10 0 slot 24. And the network of the department accounting is the 10 0 20 slot 24. And suppose that I draw the building right here. This is the department uh, IT building and this is the accounting building something like that. Alright, this is the suite here. So, the concern of VLAN is that uh, one VLAN, I mean, first of all, like, uh, we have two VLAN, VLAN uh, 10 and the VLAN 20. Okay? So, VLAN 10 here is going to have its own network and its own broadcast domain. VLAN 20 here also the same. It's going to have its own network and have its own broadcast domain. Alright, so in this case we have two VLANs, so we're gonna have the like, two network and two broadcast domain in this case. Alright. So this is the concept of VLAN. Um actually uh, if you configure like this, only PC uh, laptop zero here can communicate with laptop one and laptop two can only communicate with the laptop three. So laptop zero either laptop one cannot communicate to into this to this uh, with with this guy. Uh, if we want uh, VLAN communication with each other, I mean, uh, everybody can communicate with each other. We we also can use the layer three here, uh, which is a router. We can do the router on the stick, or we can ha have two router here get it to each other and something like that and do the routing. All right, this concept is uh, a little bit deep. I'm not going to talk in this video, so let's go back to our topic. So the configuration is a piece of cake. Actually, uh, you can if you want to create a VLAN either. Cisco uh, IS, it just needs to type the VLAN X. So I'm sorry, VLAN and the number X is the number of the VLAN. It can be two, it can be three, something like that. All right. So this is the how how to create the VLAN, and we want to assign the one interface to the specific VLAN. We have to go through the interface. It can be Chickweed Ethernet or Fine Ethernet, something like that. And the first thing we have to assign the that 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 port into the access mode okay so we have to assign that we must do so to do that we have to type switch port mode access and then switch port access VLAN here is the VLAN that we want to assign to which is what VLAN 10 or VLAN 20 it depends on the topology okay so I have the left for you here the lab here actually uh, I have pre-configured the uh, IP of each laptop here, but I have not I haven't configured the VLAN yet. So suppose that I have VLAN 10, VLAN 3, that are, if I already explained at the moment. This is a switch here, the access switch. I go to the CLI here. Okay. So I have to go to the global config mode. I'm going to type VLAN 10. Alright, to create VLAN 10, I'm going to assign the name is IT. And I'm going to exit VLAN 20 name is going to accounting all right accounting and exit again so design the so as you can see that the IT VLAN here the PC connects to the port FA0 slash 1 FA0 slash 2 so I'm going to say interface range so we're going to have two interfaces this time FA0 slash 1 to 2 all right switch port mod access and the switch port access VLAN 10. That's it. And I'm going to exit. Okay. And then I have to go to the the next rank interface. FA0 slash 3 to 4. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 20. Okay. To verify our configuration is correct, you have to say, I'm sorry, we have to type a command. Uh, uh, so VLAN RIF. Okay, as you can see, is that um, the VLAN IT here, we got the port FA0S1, FA0S2, 
and FA 003 and FA 004 in the accounting relay. Okay, so um, so I, right now I try to ping uh, to and at the PC of the the same VLAN 10.0, 10, 10 As you can see it's work. Okay, so r I try to ping um, to the net to the different VLAN, for example, like 10.0.20.100. This is the IP of the P uh, of the laptop too here. So you can see is that um, the ping uh, it doesn't work because. I ping from the VLAN 10 and to VLAN 20 and I haven't do the routing so the ping is not uh, uh, successful at all. So this is the concept of the VLAN and the configuration. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much. Goodbye.